Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and this is my wife. Leah. And uh, well, we're weighing some uh, chickens. We uh, are getting closer and closer to the date that our chickens go to freezer camp. Right? Yes. And then we'll have some chickens for a little while. Well, we still have chickens. <coughs> but uh, we're going to be getting some <laughs> other... We're going to be ordering some more uh, uh, broilers. So uh, let's look at our our meat birds. Trying to escape. Okay. Four port seven. Okay. Sorry, little one. Okay, let it let it go, Jordan. Like, what you Four point three. Okay, go take those back. Well, uh, we just got done weighing several of them. So on average, they weigh how much? Four point four. Four point average. 4.4 4. 4. 4. Mm -hmm. pounds. So, um, we had a couple close to five pounds on their own. Yeah, four, we had one I know is 4.9 pounds and stuff like that. 4. So, 7, yeah. we, we weighed a total of uh, eight of them. Yeah, eight of them. We weighed eight of them, and uh, uh, that's how we figure out the average. Yeah, right. Yeah, so uh, they are almost near the correct weight for freezer camp, right. So hopefully by next weekend, they'll be ready to go. That's what I hope. All right, what else, what else have we got going on here on the homestead? We're well, just still taking care of the other hens, getting them ready for, well, just, we still got about another month and a half maybe before we start getting eggs. But taking care of them and then maintaining the piggies, we're gonna eventually be moving Miss Piggy back into her own pen because we want to watch her weight as well. We don't want her to get too big yet. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, but anyways, and then our garden too, working on the garden. Let's look at our garden real quick. Chicken tractor. Here's what, here's what it looks like when using a chicken tractor. So that's day zero. One day since a move. Two days since they were moved. Three days since they were moved. Four days since they were moved. Look at this. You cannot even tell. Of course, we've had some rain since then. So the rain has really uh, pushed the manure from the chickens into the ground. You can see kind of where there was a concentration of some right there. But uh, in all, there is no manure there. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of grass. As you could tell, random plants. <laughs> but here's here's a here's a kicker. So this is where they have been in the past three days, right? The past, I don't know, twelve days, thirteen days. I don't know, my, my, two weeks. Two weeks ago, they were right here in this area. You cannot even tell that they were there. And in fact, the vegetation has grown back, and it's actually grown back bigger. It's grown back better, you know, kind of like build back better. <laughs> uh-huh. But my build back better actually works. Did you water today? Yes, I did water some. Okay. Do have so we food. spread diatomaceous earth on... Uh, our plants to try to get rid of the uh, potato beetles. We got tomatoes um, growing okay. already. Um, They're not tall yet. I thought they were going to become more bushy or more tall than bushy. I don't know. That one's got quite a bit on there. Same there. It's like they're, they're producing, producing at, uh, when the, it's like they're producing a lot sooner than what they should. Like that one, that one's that growing one's up. Well, this is a really big. Well, this one's a cherry. 
these are cherries. They're like the super 100. But like that one right there, he's starting to grow up taller. Yep. It might be because we've had so much rain. I'm not sure. It's still a learning process for me. Now these right here, this is some of the tomatoes. You got some weeds growing up in your onions. When are you going to pull those up? Oh, I'll get to them. I pulled some up around the potatoes, so I'm getting there. But these are the tomatoes I are started by seed. These are going to be late. Oh, and these, these are onions the, these, are starting to bloom. These are the onions that were stuck in our pantry. <laughs> these are our carrots. They're slowly getting there. They're slowly getting there. There's still some. Carrots? Right here. These are in a little bit better shape. See, that one's kind of blooming a little bit. Peppers oh. are starting to grow peppers. Here's our peppers. There's we got a couple green peppers. And then we have a dark purple one. And then I have some more I need to plant. But um, the onions are growing good and the, there's some big garlic down here too. How's your corn doing? Corn's actually doing pretty darn good. There's the little corn right there here. We planted green beans, but because of the rain, I can't really tell where they That corn shot up. Where they're at. <laughs> I'm sure we got some coming up, I just, I can't tell. <laughs> Be careful, don't step on any. Yeah. Well, uh... Is, is that green? No, or is that a wheat? No, but, well, actually, that may be well, right here. This is a green bean. Okay. I know we're planting some. <laughs> There's one growing up right next to that tree. You need to pick that tree out. They're late. These are late, it looks like. Well, I did plant them kind of late. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for uh, joining us on this uh, homesteading adventure. Uh, we know that uh, uh, we got out here probably a little bit too late getting started, really, for the coming... Uh, What's coming? This, this not yet hyperinflation, they say, but uh, the government is touting it's only 8%. It's kind of hard to say that it's only 8% whenever we're looking at uh, well over, uh, <laughs> well over 200% almost uh, in gas. So $5, $5 gas is crazy. So anyhow. Yeah. Hopefully we got some, uh, you know, this will help us make a dent into our, some of our grocery budget. At least it's a start. Especially well, with the eggs that we have getting ready to come. That will help. We, we have some meat eggs. birds that we're going to be uh, sending to freezer camp. And uh, uh, we have uh, two feeder pigs. So, uh, At least by winter we'll have So by this meat. winter time, every, we, we will be able to have, we will be able to have a total meal at least this is my goal for this this year is to eat a total meal that was raised directly here on our property yep. so anyhow I want to thank you for watching uh, and uh, if you haven't done so already please like this video uh, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and what hit the notification bell yeah ring that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video you hear uh, the cicadas behind us. <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Night.